All right, welcome to another video. Uh, this is going to be the second of possibly three videos today that come out. Today we're doing something that there's, I very rarely ever get an opportunity to do, and that is to post a gameplay of the new champion, Gwen. Now, uh, I guess I should probably clarify that I'm not exactly uh, playing this one. We're expecting a full gameplay, but I thought people want to see some Gwen. Gwen is actually pretty hyped right now. Uh, I think like the whole war revolving around the Soldi and Diego has got people kind of amped up, despite the fact that she was only like announced like a couple of days ago. Um, well, at, at the time of recording this, I suppose. Uh, but um, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just sit and we're gonna have a like people want to see how she actually plays in a real game. And uh, until I get a chance to have her on the PBE, which may happen later on today, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and I get to try her, and I'm very, very average myself. Uh, we're going to have a look at the, the Riot Games footage that they sent me. They sent me three games and some, like, a small six-minute chunk of how she lanes. Um, this game is going to be in mid lane. Uh, I know this is bizarre, because she's supposed to be an AP top laner. But uh, of the four clips that she gave, there was only one game where she, she was actually played in top lane and the other clip uh, that she was in top lane was only like five minutes and it was the beginning of the game. So you don't actually really get to see a tremendous amount of how uh, Gwen plays. We're, we'll watch over a little bit of her top game as well into Fiora, but I'm going to give you a little spoiler alert. The guy playing Gwen goes zero and five. <laughs> but regardless, let's get into things. Let's get into the video. And um, as is tradition with such a thing, uh, we're going to play rock, paper, scissors to uh, see whether or not you should subscribe. I don't like to ask people for subscriptions on this channel. I like to compete for them. So, are you ready? On three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. If you lost, you have to subscribe now. It's the law. So we're into uh, a Kiana matchup. These were all like, I think there's, uh, I see a, F a Fizz matchup, a Kiana matchup, an Aatrox matchup, and a Fiora matchup. Um, this is also going to be fantastic, by the way, for seeing, uh, you know, kind of like uh, what her cooldowns are on all of her abilities, how you may actually end up playing her. Uh, I think most of the people in this game, these are all like rioters that are part of like the playtesting thing or how the, the playtesting team. Uh, and I had a brief speak, like I had a brief conversation in a, in a, in a call with uh, one of them. And I think like the lowest person in, what, in these kinds of games is Diamond. But a lot of them are like High Diamond or Master, or, you know, I think some possibly Challenger as well. Uh, so there's presumably going to be some vague high level of play in, in these games. But like, I'll be honest, I have absolutely no idea. So there's people playing these this game that know their champion very well. Uh, and I'm going to mute the audio. Um, for the background, which I'm sorry about, but it has comms from the person playing and some of their teammates, and I I don't think they really want to be in a video. Um, but I can there like the guy mentions in this video, this is his literal first time playing Gwen, his first time playtesting her. So I don't quite know. I've skipped through bits of this, and you know I don't know how he's gonna do or how he's gonna fare. Um, but we'll give a quick rundown of all of her uh, abilities and stuff like that as well. Uh, but uh, just as a forewarning, the abilities that you'll see at the bottom of the screen are placeholder icons. Like her ultimate is Pike's Q. Her uh, Q is like I think Diana's ultimate. Her passive is Aurelia's. Uh, her W is Swain, and her E is oh that's gonna bother me. I have no idea who that is. But regardless, um, just don't let it put you off uh, too much. So her Q is uh, her snip snip. So she stacks up underneath her health bar underneath her like mana bar you can see she's getting her passive up so she's gonna hit out with five snips instead of just two um if you haven't seen her abilities and you're just like stumbling into this video please go back onto the channel and watch my ability rundown of like everything that she does if you want to get like a better idea of it but i'll quickly go over her abilities now as fast as i can um her passive as well is that whenever she auto attacks somebody she deals a percentage of their max health based on her max health um which also can be applied with her ultimate uh, her W is she puts down Hallowed Mist, which allows her to uh, completely ignore CC, completely ignore damage from anybody that's standing outside of it, and it also repositions with her one time. Her E is a, a dash, I, I think it's an auto attack reset as well, 
and it, uh, if you attack somebody within four seconds of using uh, this ability, it will refund the cooldown by 50%, and then her ultimate is that she throws one needle, and then you can auto attack, and then you throw three needles, and then you can auto attack again, and then you throw five needles, and each, each needle in that uh, input, or in that sequence, will apply her passive and do a little bit of magic damage as well. So you have like nine stacks of passive potentially coming out. So there's her W coming down. Um, I, I feel like Kiana isn't going to be the worst lane in the world. However, uh, for whatever reason, uh, she's now got double buffs. So this is going to be incredibly rough. We're probably going to see first death here from Gwen. Uh, yep. That's uh, good stuff. Double buff Kiana with Italia coming in who can like drop her E and stop you from uh, dashing anywhere. It's a little bit rough, but nevertheless. Um, so like level one, W cooldown for Kiana is pretty dang long. I don't know if it's necessary. Well, I mean, 30 seconds is actually a pretty long time. Like, I don't know if it's long enough given what it does, but it's it as a powerful move, being able to completely block CC, etc. Um, honestly, like, I mean, theoretically, it could be like. I don't know if it would be a good move into Kiana. Like, I'm I'm trying to think. Like, if you if you drop your W and then she tries to ult you, if she can knock you out of the zone. And then it repositions and you don't take damage from the ultimate technically. But I'm not really sure to be honest. I don't think there'd be a position where that would be really possible. Um, her Q, super duper low cooldown. I think at level 1 her E is like 6 to 8 seconds. Uh, which is obviously <laughs> refunded if she manages to auto attack something. Um, obviously that's going to get war with cooldown and stuff like that. But um I mean, like, pretty much, it, it, it's very similar to, like, Fiora's Q in, in terms of, like, uh, cooldown reduction, or, like, the actual cooldown of it, so, yeah, um, honestly, like, I, it, it's very surprising to me, and it's something really cool as well, that, that they are, play, they actually do playtest her in mid as well as, like, they, they playtest her in other roles, so it'd be interesting to see, like, what other roles they actually tried her in. Did they try her in support? Did they try her in jungle? What have they, what have they tried her in? Um, as well as that. Uh, I don't really know, like, what the script is with me actually using this footage. I, I'm, I'm going to do my best to, like, edit out anything that that maybe shouldn't be shown. But they haven't mentioned anything to me specifically. They just said, here's the gameplay. You can pretty much do it with do with it what you want or what have you. Um, but there's a really cool thing. And it's cool to get, like, an insight into, like, how Riot actually, like, set themselves up to, uh, you know, test things. Uh, I'll show you in one of the other gameplays that we're going to be having a look at. Uh, there's, a, there's a point where uh, they ha obviously like Riot have like tools at their disposal. Kind of like a practice tool but in a real game. Where they like destroy all the towers. They revive everybody and everybody just goes to mid. And then they can, what they can do is they can test out team fights. And, they, and then if everybody dies once the team fight's done, you just resurrect everybody. Give them gold, give them levels. Like you can simulate team fights really, really quickly. And it's super duper cool because like... In my last video, like I managed, I, that was pretty much all the the uh, footage that I used was like mid simulated team fights. Like they're not actually like real team fights. They're not a real game experience. Like it's very interesting. I, I, this is the first time I've ever like gotten a peek behind the curtain of like how Riot actually playtests a champion before it's even hit PBE. So it was super duper cool for me. But um, yeah, I mean like I think yeah, the, the cooldown on Q early levels is. Uh, you know, it's short, but it's not, like, short enough that I think, like, it's... Unless you get hit with a full six, that you're going to be in, like, a, a crazy spot of bother. I'll be honest, like, based on the, the, the footage that I've seen from her, from skipping through, I, I mean, it, it depends, because, like, the, the issue is, these are all high-level players. Like, and I, I mean that unironically, like, these... I know people make jokes about, like, the Riot Balance team and stuff, but... The, this is the playtest team. These are people that like need to know their stuff about League of Legends and are generally um, that the playtest team generally tend to be like high level players because they are gonna know the game a bit better than the than the average person. But um, she she just doesn't seem to be that impactful. But I I'm kind of chalking it down to the fact that. Uh, you know this person is first timing and the people that we've been see uh, that I, I've watched so far footage wise of the players They are first timing the champion 
and uh, or or maybe not first timing, but you know your first five games minimum, right? Like it, you know you you've only played a couple of games the champion, but like some of these guys might be picking like champions that they're super duper familiar with, like you know champions that have been out for a very long time. They've had a lot of like uh, exposure to, and as such are gonna be like you know I truly believe that like you could be like a you know it could be a diamond one Cassidy, but. You could also be like a silver one Shaco player, right? And it's kind of like the same with Gwen, right? So like everybody in this game is like at minimum like, you know, diamond, high diamond. But my man's playing Gwen. He's probably like, you know, maybe gold three Gwen. Who knows, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, like stealing camps so far. Don't know about a counter jungling. Backing off. Interesting. I I'm sure that most people are very interesting, uh, interested in seeing what items people want to go on. I think like everybody's first thought when seeing this champion is to rush Nasher's Tooth. Now, um, the playtest team or one of the devs was like, we've actually found that delaying Nasher's Tooth is actually stronger for Gwen as opposed to rushing it. Um, and there's a variety of different uh, like mythics that I think are in the footage as well. So Riffmaker is here. I think I've seen... Uh, I think it was like pro belt possibly as well. I think there's like a lot of options depending on what you're you're potentially in, into. I guess. Um, I think like it, it's kind of a dealer's choice, I suppose. I think like that's not necessarily a bad thing here. So wait, we got we got Gwen going in for the ignite. Kind of botched it a little bit, right? Mega botched it. I think probably could have used her Q there to maybe try and pick it up, but never mind. We got the, we got the kill. Um, not the greatest display of what uh, of what Gwen can do when she just E flashes and ignites a Braum on like 10 HP. And did he actually kill the Braum? He didn't. I don't think he didn't. But we got the Talia at least. <laughs> yeah, like I think people, uh, they mentioned that Everfrost would be pretty decent. Although I can't remember if like Everfrost is getting nerfed or anything like that. I think it did get nerfed slightly. Um, and I think maybe this was recorded before the nerf, so I don't know if they even tried her, because I think they may have been aware of it. Um, but yeah, I think, like, Everfrost could be great on her. Like, obviously, she lacks some CC. Um, so, like, sticking power is obviously, like, really great. You've seen what happens to a champion that does a lot of damage, but hasn't got much sticking power. Or, like, could use some more sticking power when, when you put Everfrost on a Cassidy and he one-shots you for, like, your, like, your entire team, really. Right, but this should be an easy pick. Hallow Ground goes down, so Braum's not able to do anything to stop the uh, the Gwen getting on top of him, though. Still getting stunned. He's almost got full stacks on his passive. Drops out the five uh, the five snips. The three snips there as well. He's trying to go in. Get a little bit extra range on your E. A little bit extra magic damage. The Fisher comes down from the Braum. Snip, snip, snip. You know, it's, it's solid damage. Like, I can't deny you got clapped by the uh, Kiana, but it is solid damage. Hey, if you can get full six snips on somebody, like if they're stunned or something like that, like it, it I, I've seen it so far, decently chunk somebody. And like, especially when it's like a little bit down, w w little bit down the line, when you have some attack speed, you have some damage, uh, and you also have some coding reduction. Like th that ability is going to be like kind of dirty, I'd say. Actually, hold on. Uh, let me go back like just a couple of seconds because that's like the first time I've seen him actually like hover over his uh, ultimate. Her only do in the uh, direction does 30 magic damage. So what's the scaling on this ability then? Because it has it has 30 magic damage, but it doesn't have any base damage. So is it a, is it a 30-ish percent? I guess, I guess we'll have to see to be honest, but I, I'm confused by that. Oh wait, he, he did it, he did it. Hold on, oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute here. Now, these numbers are not final, but it is nice to get in, like a little a little bit of insight into what potentially we're looking at here. So, um, the needles do 20 damage per needle, and it has an 8% uh, AP ratio. Okay, that's interesting. All right. And then, obviously, the base damage of the each needle goes up with, uh, with level. Yeah, I, I had no idea. That's one thing that they always neglect to tell us when they give us the ability rundowns and stuff like that, whenever they have in the past. And to be honest, it's only been like once or twice that they've ever done that for me. But um, they, I, I don't get the numbers because the numbers aren't final. Uh, like, And things could change as close as like the day of PBE release. Never mind like her actually coming out. Like Obviously, like there's going to be changes to her potentially between now and the PBE and then the PBE and her actually coming out. So um, it makes sense that they're going to 
probably not give me that information because it's, it's presumably irrelevant at that point. That Hallowed Mist actually saved that Gwen's life. There was like that moment of hesitation from Red Side where they're like, right, we either have to fully commit to this dive, but if but Kiana was almost out of the mist there, and like even a little bit of hesitation would have like ruined some damage. And Braum was a little bit scared as well. Or like back just back off. Do you think you know what like I've seen like this is like the second game now that I've seen of her playing mid lane. I, I don't I don't know if it's like I mean I know that Viego kind of started to take mid by storm and like I've been playing Viego mid as well. And he's a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. Um but I, I, I genuinely just don't know whether or not she's like cut out for for mid. I mean, this is probably gonna be proven wrong, no doubt. But like I don't really know where her roam potential is. It's definitely not nearly as good roam potential as you know, Viego, apart from the fact that she can, like, go over walls and stuff like that, which Viego can do without leap, but you probably would never use it that way. Um, like, she, she's not, like, got a particularly great kit for ganking. Like, I, I guess, like, if you're, if you're Roman bot, then, like, you know, it's like Katarina, you know, you can just go bot and feast off kills, but, um, especially early, like, I definitely feel like she doesn't really necessarily have as much power I should love. Although, granted, that is some that is some damage. Here we go. We got the ulti coming out now as well. That was actually some really solid damage there. She got the she got two casts of her ultimate off there, two diff two different all attacks to proc the uh, the the uh, R three, and then she got deleted by Kian. <laughs> one shot. <laughs> Yo, okay. Um, all right. So that's Rift Maker picked up. Uh, I think like after that. I actually don't think it's rap. I don't think it's Nashers that, that comes up next. A bold play going for the Dark Seal, Gwen. I'm kind of like feeling, as far as Gwen is concerned, that she's going to be like a very nasty counter pick. But, and like, uh, you know what? Like, I don't know what the numbers are going to be because I guarantee that when she does come on PBE, I'm going to be playing a different version of Gwen than what these guys are playing. Like, this is probably like one of the first you know, batches of playtests that happened. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm wondering, like, if she's going to be a little bit stronger on release. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm probably... Like, I think she probably will be, to be honest. Like, it's easy for me to look at this footage and be like, um, oh, yeah, she's not doing so well. She's not that good. And I think it's the same... Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> that was almost... A horrible situation that happened there. That's very nice though. We got the extra the, the needles coming out. Managed to get a cheeky double kill there. I'm actually gonna go back and rewind that though, because I wanna see it. I wanna see that a little bit more. The flash coming out. Did she have the passive still up for her E? She did not have her passive up for E, to my knowledge, so she didn't get the extra coding reduction on her uh on her E there. But nevertheless, it was still like a nice flash. Boom pop. It looked like she got like extra range there. Hold on, I'm sorry for like rewinding this so much, but she cute. Oh, it was, it was a flash Q. It, it, dude, there's there's to be honest, like a lot of her abilities are like, I don't know, man. She got she got the scissors. <laughs> um, but yeah, back in the game, I suppose. But um. Yeah, I don't, like, I honestly, it's hard, it's easy for me to be like, oh yeah, she's probably not that strong, or she might not, she doesn't look that strong. I say that, like, as she's kind of cleaning house right now, although she, she missed that. I think that's still picked for, for Orin, though. Um, but I, I have to, I have to admit that, like, these are people that are very much better at the game than I am, and as such, like, it's gonna be a whole different story when somebody drops into a normal game with people that are not necessarily, like, very good at the game. So, she could come out, and she could be absolutely, like, busted. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like, yo, this new champion is on crack. Riot WTF have you done? She is super duper broken. I think like Honestly Like I know that her W is like super duper strong, but I think like she has some very clear like flaws in her game 
like they are abusable very much so same as like as i said in the, my, my my main video same as aurelia same as uh as fiora like it's it's very easy i'd, I'd say that like like in lane it really is super duper hard for, for me personally playing to like i suck at playing into fiora i'm a little bit better at but i think um these champions have like mega strengths the and they're made that way right they have this ability to like 1v wait it feels like they can 1v5 but it's it's always like in the situation where you're trying to 1v1 them right like or, or 1v2 them when they're kind of fed but when you wait i always find like and and so many times i've seen a fed really on an enemy team or a fed really on my team but she like decides to uh you know join a team a 5v5 team fight and then all of a sudden like all of her strengths kind of like dissipate and unless she hits like a mega ultimate that hits like four people you know you're able to lock her down a little bit you're able to back her off like you put some grievous on her in a team fight she doesn't seem to to do as much uh, and i think like that's uh, like that's the kind of thing that like gwen is gonna be um if, if god help the poor the poor like uh <laughs> tank that like you walk in you're like i'm gonna have a nice little game of cho'gath dude and then all of a sudden gwen gets locked in it's like have fun with that one buddy like yeah you might be able to do something but like let's see gwen is running away literally all she has to do if you're trying to rupture and chase her dude all she has to do is hit that dirty little w and then all of a sudden you can't really do a whole lot to her um, you can't really chase her down as well as you want um it's it's super duper interesting like i'm not i'm not trying to say that like you know oh oh their game froze i'm not trying to say that like a really and fiora are like necessarily like totally balanced champions but i think they have their strengths and um like, I, I, it's different with, like, Viego, right? Because, like, Viego is a champion that, like, you know, he, he doesn't really actually have a tremendous amount of weaknesses. He's got, like, really insane dueling potential. He's got, actually, a lot of burst damage. Um, he's got, like, a lot of mobility, some escape. Um, and also, like, his team fight is absolutely absurd. Like, even if you're behind on Viego, if you can just clinch a pick on, like, a fed AD carry... And you know how to vaguely break quick champions and press buttons. Like, you can go from being, like, the most useless champion in the game to, like, stealing the most useful champion in the game and, like, turning it around, no problem. But yeah, like, I, I, it's... Like, I don't hate it. Like, I think, it, you know, it's kind of boring from, like... I think people want to see the new champion do well. And that's totally understandable. Like, I, 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 like I totally accept <laughs> that's it. Because, like, you know, people want to pop off on a character they think looks cool and Gwen does look pretty cool but um I think it's also good to see a champion that's new do badly and like see even like high level players be like you know making mistakes and figuring out where the limits are for instance Kiana and Viego I don't think Gwen wants to mess with them like I think like Maybe similar to Viego with like the mid thing. She could definitely like have some potential in mid lane. With her because her W is just gonna give her like that little bit of like safety. Um I mean like you know, I'm not saying that she ever would, but like, you know Vegar tries to cage her. As long as long as she like literally just W's, she can walk through the gate without ever being stunned, right? As long as he's not within the range of it. So like if he's trying to like she's got some great potential for avoiding ganks um champions like control mages are gonna like she might be a direct counter to like control certain control mages in, in mid as well um like lux like your your zeras even like oriana or something like that champions that like they're looking to catch you you know with your pants down a little bit so like you're trying to back and then a zera thought he pops out of the uh out of the ether but you're like, no, sorry, you you can't even hit me, please. Thank you. All right, possible team fight here. Possibly. We got the Howard Miss goes down. Might have been a bit of a waste. It's been repositioned and now it's gone. Right, all he comes down there. Snip, snip. Got the, there we go. We've got the 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 five. There we go. That's the five needles that came out there. Stopwatch goes down. She might be able to get back to her team though. If she plays the same, and she doesn't get hit by the Kiana moment. That's very nice. She's gonna die, but. I think they might manage. Yeah, they're going to be able to take Kiana there. 
It's like Fiora, dude. It reminds me super duper like if it's like when you like when you're when you're not able to auto attack after your E, it feels like when you Q on Fiora. And if you don't know about Fiora, like her Q re, re, cooldown gets like refunded for a considerable amount. If when you dash, it will automatically like target and slash out onto a an enemy. But if you don't like do your automated slash onto something, like you don't get the cooldown refund. And like it feels like when you're not able to like dash onto somebody and auto attack to get like that mobility like trucking and like maximize how many times you're moving around, it just feels like you're like so sluggish and like a little bit clunky. Um and it's kinda hard to play anything like soft CC maybe this champion's like worst nightmare to be honest. Like not even um or, or, or similar to like Shivana as well, where like, or like Meganar, where like, you, you see an, you see a Shivana with her ulti up, or you see a, a, a Nar about to go Mega, just like wait out, wait for the, wait for them to drop Hallowed Mist, just back off, and then re-engage, because like, a, a W is going to be an ability that you max last for sure, and at level 1, uh, I mean, she's only got 25 uh, ability haste, like, you're probably looking at a 29 like second cooldown 28 second maybe max i guess we'll find out here how long her cooldown is she has she's doing a decent amount of damage to Viego, but not a crazy amount all right i guess it's 24 25 the Viego is pretty strong though he's at, he's got 200 cs and he's like almost three items up so uh they went for i mean honestly yeah they went for uh stop uh, the the zonia zero glass like second i think they're going lich bane now if i'm recall Oh, actually, hold on. They're pausing. Hold on. I'm pausing. What is the scaling on that? What is the scaling? Oh, press shift for me, dude. She gains 39 magic resistance and armor while she's in Hallowed Mist. So, what would that... What, what would that AP ratio be? 39. It, it must be something incredibly small. It will be. It will be less than ten percent. It must be. I mean, it's a scary ability. Can you imagine, like a Rabadon's 20, 25 stacking Magi's like Gwen, and you jump into her mist and she like presses W or whatever, and she gains like a hundred. She turns into a Malphite. <laughs> like, oh, like with the uh, with the AP ratios on. If you just have a, if you have a thousand AP, even if it's like a one percent. Scale it, you know, or like a 10, if even it's like a 10% scale and you're getting like 100 armor, 100 MR, which is uh, kind of dirty, to be honest. We've got like a bit of a flank going on here. They saw her. They saw her in that ward. It seems like a bad idea. <laughs> it seems like a really bad idea. All right, who goes out? Right, she's not dashing yet. She dashes, misses Q. Okay, Lantern was pretty decent. I, I think she's out. Hold on. Orn, don't upgrade the item right now. <laughs> Orn, you're a madman. <laughs> We're in the middle of running for our lives. Uh, and you're freaking trying to upgrade my, uh, my item. <laughs> that is, uh, that is quality Orn. That is quality Orn banter, dude. All right. Let's say they're going to pick up Baron here. I actually don't know which team wins this. I actually don't think I get to see the ending of the game. I'm not sure. Her, you know, like, looking at this, dude, like, could her jungle clear be, like, decent? I'm sure you could probably make it work. Go on. Right, come on. You can take this. You can take this. Solid. Big shutdown. Love to see it. Dude, that, like... I, now, I know it doesn't look like it did a lot of damage, but that, like, did... I mean, this is Baron minions we're talking about here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Gwen still got the kills off red buff? Like, uh, when, uh, uh, I know this is, like, cringe, but hold on. Let me pull it back a second here. Is it, like... I have to... Well, that was really fast, actually, the, the, the extra stacks. I like the little effect that comes around. It also, by the way, in case you're wondering, um, it also slows, like, the needles... So, not by, like, a crazy amount, like, 50% uh, to the first person hit by them. Or, I think, like, um, or the first needle hit. Um, I, I actually should 
probably look that up, but um, there we go. We got the lich being picked up there. But yeah, on it, that, did, that did pretty okay damage to the um, to the, the the Baron minions, which I didn't expect to actually see. But um, honestly, like free shutdown on uh, Viego, it kind of is what it is. We got the Lich Bane now. Like, I, I I feel like, thank God I'm not the one that's playing this, by the way, because like, I think people would be going absolutely nuts. I'm not building a Nasher's Tooth, but they, they said, like, the, the dev said, like, we, we, we have found that Nasher's Tooth isn't necessarily as strong early. Is they gonna, are they going to go Void, or? I don't know, but um, whether or not um, like, people just build it anyway because it feels right I, I i honestly think i probably would end up building dasher's tooth like super duper early like it's just a fun item like i like it, it gives like a bunch of ap and like a lot of cool like a big a lot of, a lot of not cooldown sorry attack speed a lot of attack speed and the on hit is absolutely fantastic um i i noticed that the enemy viego is also building <laughs> like uh nasher's I guess like the on hit is great with his passive. I've never actually seen a Viego build Nasher's Tooth. May have to steal that build to be honest for a uh, Viego, but he thinks he's Viegar. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Though. All right, so we, we actually have a flank coming in from Gwen right now. Wait, we have a really solid flank. Thresh is there. One needle goes down. The dash comes out. Getting onto the Brom. Howard misses well. Aphelios isn't able to do anything there. This dude, that did like no damage, brother. I think he missed everything. The five needles, though. The five needles chunked. Aphelios still lived, but there was a, there was a, like there was a solid amount of like. Uh... Hold on, let me let me refresh that a little bit. That was very sad to see. I mean that, I mean that's part of the issue with like when like her her Q is like very low range. In all fairness, it is not a. You know, it's not like Zen Zhao's new W. It does uh, have a bit of a... <laughs> does have a bit of, like, a range issue. That's not a bad thing. Like, when she's able to dash onto you and Q you, like... Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna hate it. But in situations like that... That was, like, a... A solid effort for the flash, but there was no, uh... A solid effort for the flank, sorry, but there was no flash up to, like, really close the gap there. Alright. We have another flank attempt from Gwen here coming in. Orin OE does get blocked. The the knock up from Talia. That being said though, she's managing to stick to the Talia, which is lovely. Five uh, needles coming onto Brom, slows him a little bit. That being said, she didn't able, she wasn't able to get her uh, her E off. Should be able to get it here though. Boom. Zonyas comes out. She's got dash up again, able to get onto the uh, Aphelios. Snap misses, doesn't matter though, the extended range from the E gives her that little bit extra, that little bit extra oomph. That hit the, uh, the Aphelios there. Just, like, you know what? It's, like, a solid game. It's, like, it, like honestly, 9-10-9 is, is an okay, is, like, an absolutely an okay score. Does she shred Baron? Eh, not Baron, like, Dragon? Yes, 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 she does. Holy moly. My god. <laughs> Oh dear, that was uh, like an absurd amount of damage that that was doing there. Dude, her clear's kind of dirty, man. I'll be real. I know she's got Inferno Soul here, but like, when she gets six snips, holy Christ. At least on her like camps, dude. 530 total damage on the Chrome there with like the six snips. I think, I think it was, was it? I'm not sure. All right, she picking up Demonic Embrace. What, what is this person going to go next? Void Staff. They're just trying to boats. I have no idea. This could be wrong. This could be right. Bruh, I have no idea. Right, so honestly, this could be the game ender here. We got fairly long cooldowns on deaths. And they're, they're, everybody's hovering. Everybody's hovering Baron here. So like, if I was a Benton man, I don't know how it, I don't know how it goes in the Hyul, but um, if they do end up fighting over this, I, I'd love to. See, I, I'm looking. I'm gonna jump to another video after this and show you some of the team fighting because I think it's really cool as part of their tool. But um, yeah, like I yeah, this that's actually big. Hold on, Viego down, Talia wall coming in, 
Managed to the Kiana. Bit risky. 130, 226 armor? And Howard missed? Excuse me? Brom's on the run. That slow is dirty, dude. Oh, he failed the jump. <laughs> he failed to jump over the wall. Dude, what? Look at her armor before she goes in. She has 146 armor before she, she goes in there. Jumps in. 226 armor off the back of Howard missed. She's able to tank the Kiana. She's able to tank the Aphelios. And it like she barely takes any damage, obviously. She jumps in. Does a bit of burst and then just zonias, but like that's uh, some spicy stuff there. So that's an extra like, you know, like, hold on, 80, 80 armor and magic resist. Whew. All right, so that was like a free baron. All right, so we're coming to the end. Oh wait, actually, are we? I wonder if they're doing the team fight in here. They were just taking the nexus turns. Nobody was stopping them. I was a little bit confused here. Right, we'll say we got right, Dave on Orn. Maybe a little bit of obsession. Hallowed missed though. I think that actually stopped the Brom Q there. Which is actually massive because that is a dirty maneuver. Brom Q slows so much. I know the guy's like literally like a whole ice dude thing. Right, okay. Half health. Absolutely chunks the Kiana. Coming in for the flank. Flashing as well. Trying to get the extra proc on the needles. Here we go though. Kiana is in it to win it, dude. Still gets. Oh, she got black screen, dude. <laughs> What is this, my PC? That was, um, maybe eyes a little bit too big for his stomach there, for sure. <laughs> he died so fast, his screen went black. I'm feeling oddly reminiscent of, um, of, uh, <laughs> my PC. <laughs> Alright, the team are doing Elder Dragon. My man Gwen is on the blue buff right now. Let's go, baby. Kiana's coming in. Oh, she's done, though. She's done, though, baby. Oh, the minions are just too much. Like they got, they got, they got to keep the minions from pushing in. Elder Dragon and Infernal Soul. Name a more iconic duo right now. 12, 11, 11. That's okay. Honestly, like I'm, you know, I figure like this is a champion that's gonna be like very solid in splitting. I'm su surprised to see there wasn't like a tremendous amount of split pushing in this game. Um, but I think like that's a playstyle that people are going to adopt for. Gwen when she actually comes out like I you know I think like Riot can obviously they know the intent behind their their belt their their champions but like I think one of the good things about League is that like you know like Seraphine like I'm not saying it's a good thing because I'll be honest I hate Seraphine okay very nice get picking up the kill there on the Viego Elder Dragon double kill she's not gonna be able to stick to anybody else here and get any more picks I think like one of the, the cool things about like champions like Seraphine is that Riot are like hey we're making a mid laner and then the entire community goes, well, yes, but actually, no. We're going to put her in support instead. Same with, like, Brand and champions like that. Same with, like, Velkos. Like, you know, they can be like, oh, yeah, she's a this or that. But, like, ultimately, it's kind of us who decide, like, where she goes, I suppose. Which is really... I, I, I do appreciate that about... It's it's a weird thing because, like, you know, I hate playing at Seraphine. But, like, I do have to appreciate that aspect of, like, the league community where it's, like... Yeah, we're not going to listen to you, right? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, right, let me pull up one of the other games here. Uh, I, I'm going to just kind of skip to the... I mean, actually, you know what? I should show you. The mad lad himself. The man of the hour. <laughs> He's not happy. You're not going to hear it, but he, he just told the, the heck room to frick off. <laughs> Yo! Uh, yeah, this is the footage that was provided here, but um, yeah, in the top lane, I think this one is a Night Harvester game, um, I believe. I think this is one where uh, they, they play Night Harvester. I I mean, like, I see the logic for the burst damage, but like, yeah, I don't think Night Harvester is necessarily going to be um, her thing. Obviously, you're going to only able to proc it, like, really once per champion, like, in fights, I guess. Maybe, I don't, maybe you could be get more than one, but I actually don't know the codeine on it properly, but um it's, it's going to be a little bit... Oh, no, it's pro build. This one's pro build, actually. There is a Night Harvester one as well. Um, the builds have all in here, but... Um, for sure, like, I, I, I like I, I can see the logic, but also I just think she spends a lot of time in fights. Whereas pro build, I can totally get behind. The, the extra movement speed that I got given um, towards champions when you, like, use it is, like... Is, like, really... 
valuable if you're struggling to get onto somebody with the the e range and you want those resets and then extra movement speed is just gravy dude it's absolutely gravy um so right, let me i want to show you this is something super cool and super interesting uh, that that riot has been doing so like, we'll show off a team fight here uh, it may not be a great team fight because like she's got a one kda yeah. but we got zonyas we got pro belt um is that like oh christ you know what i'm i i don't know if it's just me but like i'm i kind of struggle this season to remember build paths um for champions <laughs> like for certain items so like a kindle gem and a fiendish codex and i'm like what is that exactly like i can't it's a, it's a cosmic drive? Is that a cosmic drive? I think it is, yeah. I should probably know that because I do build the item like fairly regularly, but I'm sorry. <laughs> this is part of like the uh, the tool that Riot used. This is super duper cool stuff. So I, I was right. It was Night Harvester. I remember now. Um, they can give themselves like a bunch of gold. They can give themselves like, uh, they can lock levels. They can give themselves levels. And this is what they do to like practice and like not practice necessarily, but play test like how she would operate in a team fight. Um, which is kind of hilarious because like she's not really much of a team fighter, it would appear. But uh, we got Morel and Omicron, Cosmic Drive, Sonya's, Tappy, and uh, Night Harvester. And basically, what they're going to do. Is they're just gonna simulate a five v five team fight in mid, um, like a couple of times. And once everybody dies, you just reset it, and it, it is what it is. That was like a oh, that was like a really rough W. That was a super duper rough W. Didn't really block much of anything. <laughs> there we go. So that's some of the team dying there. So everybody's now died in the team fight. You just click revive. Boom. There we go. Everybody's back in mid, ready to simulate the next team fight. This is super duper cool, man. Like, I, I, I like, I, they, I, they haven't really mentioned, like, one way or the other whether or not. They, they said I could use the footage, but um, I have absolutely no idea. Um, you know, I, I'm trying not to show any, like, major sensitive information, I guess, but it's just a really cool tool. And it's, it's cool to get, like, as I said a little bit earlier, a peek behind the curtain of, like, how this, like, all works. Um, so, yeah, this is it. They run the team fight again. That's a better Hallowed uh, miss than last time. The Zonyas comes out as well. The Hallowed miss is in a good position there. She's still going to drop, but she managed to soak a lot of damage. She got two kills before she died as well. That is much better. Like, being able to... to I mean, even if you are soaking damage inside the Hallowed miss, like, you're, you're getting a bunch of uh, MR. I, I wish I could see the MR because the guy's got the freaking rune thing on. So I can't see. I, oh, I can see that he's got like five stacks of Ravenous Hunter. So that's not very useful to me, but nevertheless, right? Um, that was a, that was a fight we're in. She got a big R3 through a bunch of people there, and it did it. Like we can go back and have a look, like how much damage that was actually doing here. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to slow it down on Windows Media Player. I'll be honest with you, but still, right? So we go R1, boom, Q. And then R2. And then the final one. There we go. That, that was the final one. There was the R3 right there. How many people did that hit? I think I hit four people. And it almost half health uh, the Orianna. So the way that her um, ulti actually works. It can actually. I believe it can actually hit people behind her. Because it's, it's a triangle. But the triangle begins behind Gwen's model. So like if like if somebody is standing like slightly behind you, like just on your model, but like behind you, you could actually hit it because it starts from behind where she's facing, right? So um yeah, think of it as like a, a triangle that starts like slightly behind where Gwen is. It's very cool, very cool. Not that I think there's any outplay potential, but I just like just if you if somebody's sticking to you and you're trying to aim at somebody. You could aim at the person that's further away, and you'll still hit the guy that's like right behind you, as long as you're you're facing the right way, um, which is gonna definitely annoy somebody at some point for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, let's watch another team fight here. Somebody's getting caught out. Diego's getting caught out. Polk. Hallowed Miss goes down. R one comes out. There we go. R two, and then R three comes out as well. There doesn't manage to get a pick on to anybody. Maybe went a little bit ham. 
team wasn't really fully there, but still. Um, but yeah, this is um, Gwen. And honestly, I've given you a bunch here. I've given you a bunch of stuff to, to, to get you sink your teeth into. Uh, it's been a bit of a long video as well, to be honest. But regardless, um, I've had a blast like watching over this with you. And um, hopefully this is going to like, you know, hold on. I'm going to sneeze one second. Hopefully um, this can satisfy your hunger for more Gwen content. Um, I will be doing I, uh, I try myself I test myself over and maybe some stupid builds over on my twitch channel the the second that she appears on the PBE um, If you're interested in anything like that by all means stop by uh, If you're interested in more Gwen stuff You can keep the notification bell on for just today. You can turn it off tomorrow Actually, you can turn it off in a couple of days. I guess when I finish making some of the ideas that I'm done making with Gwen um but um, if you're interested in Gwen, you're gonna want to leave on because um, we're gonna. I'm not. I'm not trying to spam you here, but there's gonna be at least another video today. So, <laughs> regardless, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, yeah, feel free to gauge from this what you will. Uh, come up with some ideas if you want to comment down below. Uh, crazy Gwen idea. I've already got two in my head, but. If you've got any other crazy Gwen ideas for like off-meta builds, by all means, scream them at me. Uh, and I'm more than welcome to give them a try. Uh, but yeah, have a fantastic day. Uh, if you end up on the PBE later today, uh, enjoy trying to play Gwen. Or if you get a chance to play her, enjoy playing Gwen. And I'll see you all a little bit later. Have a good one. Take care.